We are so excited at the Tampa Museum of Art to introduce the work of Jaime Plenza in this beautiful new exhibition called The Human Landscape. But Jaime Plenza is one of the most sought after internationally recognized sculptors living today. And what a treat that we have this opportunity to show the variety of works that he's been doing over the last decade. It's the largest um, collection of his works right now in North America that is touring. And we're thrilled to be able to do this exhibit for a couple of reasons. One, he's extremely important and very young. He just turned 60 last year in 2015. And his international acclaim really is preceding him for someone that young in the art world right now. There is nothing but a bright future for him. So to see him at this early stage of his career having such international recognition is remarkable. The part of this exhibition that is truly great for the Tampa Museum of Art is we're setting a new standard on doing both indoor and outdoor sculpture. And I, this is something very important when we're talking to the um, people of our community because we want them to engage in this work at their own level, at their own time and speed knowing that art can be approached um, on any different level um, with, with or without any type of knowledge about the art. This type of art is so approachable and so recognizable from a distance that people immediately embrace it. And we want them to do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And having the artwork outside, public art, the way that we have, is a great new step for this museum, something that um, all of us at the Tampa Museum of Art would like to see more often. So this was a great introduction to that. One of the things that Jaume Plenza is so recognized for outside of his um, formal portraits um, are portraits that are made up of words and letters that represent different cultures um, or different great artists, composers, especially those that are um, not just composing literature but composing music. And so there's a beautiful work in the exhibition um, that um, deals with um, the cascading down of words um, that are from great composers of poetry and literature. It um, is an opportunity to listen to the words as, um, as if they were wind chimes. It's a, it's a um, please touch opportunity, um, carefully, to um, create the sound of words um, so that they have music to them as well as um, beautiful compositions in the, in the way that the sentences unfold. One of the great signature pieces of Jaume Plenza's work um, are his monumental portraits of women. And there is a 24 foot tall cast iron portrait of a woman named Laura. The, paint, the piece itself is called Laura with Bun because her hair is pulled up um, and rests on the back of her head. This type of portrait is something that Jaume Plenza is extremely well known for. And this is a signature piece, not only in his career, um, but also um, in this exhibition and a piece that should not be missed. I'm currently standing in another um, exhibition that we have on view at the Tampa Museum of Art called Public Private, The Figure Examined, Masterworks from the Casa Mashari Foundation. What a great exhibit this is to complement Jaume Plenza's human landscape. This exhibit really focuses the attention of the viewer on the role of figure, of the figure in art. Fundamentally, the figure is um, been used throughout the history of art for tens of thousands of years as a pivotal jumping off point for content in art. And the figure in this particular exhibition is explored by well over 70 different artists in 120 works. It's a beautiful exhibition featuring and highlighting late 19th and early 20th century universally recognized artists, including the works of Auguste Rodin, Pablo Picasso, um, de Chirico, um, Giacometti, um, Mary Cassatt, Renoir, it's, it's, it's a litany of, of great names of artists who have always used and, can, and throughout their career the, the human figure um, as a subject matter in art. That's the thread that connects all the works together. But interestingly, as we look through the exhibition, we see how artists at particular times period, time periods in their careers, in particular geographic regions, have interpreted the figure based on styles, um, based on political movements, based on communications. Um, this exhibition really reflects what was happening in the 19th and 20th centuries um, in, the, in the world of art. One of the artists that is of great significance to the history of art um, because of the way that he approached the medium of sculpture and bronze 
um, but also because of his unique personal interpretation on life, is the work of Giacometti. And there is a portrait here of his wife that is really stunning, and this speaks to the intimacy side of the private public discussion um, in the exhibition. Um, it is one of the, I think, most astonishing works in the exhibition, and an important work as well, um, appearing in the artist's catalog resume, but also in a most recent exhibition of Giacometti's work in Europe, um, documenting portraits by the artist, and it's on view here in Tampa. There are other works that I think are extraordinary in the show by Auguste Rodin. Rodin was one of the great sculptors of the late 19th century. He not only um, cast works in bronze, um, but he also carved works in marble. And we have a wonderful cross-section of both of those um, types of works that um, he created in his career in this exhibition. From a life-size um, statue of Adam, of Adam and Eve, to beautiful big biblical passages of St. John the Baptist, um, all the way to the beautiful love scenes that he's so recognized for of, of couples um, in intimate embrace. And so it's a wonderful opportunity. The Mary Cassatt that's in the exhibition is a beautiful portrait of a young woman, something that she is absolutely recognized for, and it's a beautiful oil on canvas, um, which would typically not um, travel in, in, in exhibitions um, nationally. Um, again, a beautiful um, opportunity to take a look at her work. A great American expatriate who worked and lived in France um, had a wonderful um, relationship and affair with Edgar, De Edgar Degas, a great um, artist who is also represented in this exhibition, and really a key artist um, who um, promoted the advent of Impressionism, both um, as a participant in the movement, but also in making sure that those people who collected in the United States understood Impressionism. So there are many jumping off points in this exhibition um, to talk about. Take advantage of the opportunity if you're here for the um, Gasparilla Music Fest or the Gasparilla Arts Festival. Um, the museum will have um, family days, military appreciation days, all tied to this exhibition. Um, as well as the Jamais Plenza Human Landscape. We invite you to come to some formal lectures that are being presented, not just on these two exhibitions, but of a third exhibition that's on view called The Classical World, um, images from our permanent collection of Greek and Roman antiquities. Um, and we will be um, inviting to come back to the community, Jamais Plenza, in April to have a public conversation about his exhibition. Um, so there are many, many things that are going on at the museum. We want you to take advantage of. Come down, have lunch at Sono Cafe, um, enjoy the museum environment, explore the sculpture outside, come in and contemplate the beautiful works in public, private. Um, this is your museum and we want you to come and take advantage of all of the benefits we can offer to, the, to you um, in the world of the visual arts.